welcome back to my channel i'm gonna jump right into this as you can tell from the title you must know what it is so warning this video might tend to be a bit longer than usual but if it is i'm definitely going to put it into parts one and two because when i asked this question on my ig the response was quite overwhelming like it's like I don't know if you're able to see that all those responses yikes yep so I'm gonna start uh, <laughs> with assumptions about me and by the way I got shocked at some some was like what and some I was like oh and some I was like oh thank you so much so I really hope that uh, some of these things are really true because sometimes we don't know ourselves and uh, it's the perception of others that can tell us how we present ourselves but deep down we know what we are and as long as I'm comfortable with that um, well this again is not a serious video it's uh, just about opinion about what you think of me for those who know me offline for those who know me in person and yeah let's start so uh, one of my best friends said you come from a worthy family my first name when I met you my first time when I met you whoa uh, <laughs> I guess this is about time I tell you I don't come from a worthy family I come from a very very normal family that we didn't go hungry yeah we didn't have crazy holidays but we ate every day and did what we needed to do I was taken to school and here I am, no wealthy family. I wish I came from a wealthy family. I'm not a white tito. Um, I'm a stubborn and a hard nut to crack, but awesome at the same time. I'm a Taurus. I'm a bull. I'm stubborn. Yes. A sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Um, hmm, this is a, a former colleague of mine. More of a fact than an assumption. You're sweet, kind, strong, and hardworking. Thank you so much. You have a very a strong fighting spirit i love you yes i am one stubborn bitch life throws things at me and i push back i can't i don't give up um i don't know anything else other than strength that you are the eldest sibling in your family i don't have siblings from both my mom and dad i just i'm my i'm the only child of my mother and i'm not the oldest you can You, you can get any money you want. Whew, thank you. I wish. I wish. That you value enough peace more than anything. In fact, I am in pursuit of peace and happiness as we speak. I am doing anything and everything to pursue peace and happiness. They are going hand in hand. Yes, I am. You were raised in shags, but for an accent that everyone can see, read here through. Ha! <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> ah. Do people force accents? I'm, I just speak like this. I've always spoken like this. Sawabasi. But I, 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 at some point, I grew up in shags and Nairobi, so. Oi, Maggie. <laughs> Hi, Helkin. You really work out and eat healthy because you're baddie. Love hearts. I love you, Maureen. Thank you no i really don't work out i don't eat healthy at least not in quite a while but well i'm glad the body has a mind of its own you're a strong mom you are a go-getter yes 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 i am you're very organized yes i am i i uh, i'm not talking of organized in terms of my spaces but mentally, I like organization. I operate best, best in structure. I like knowing what's happening next week, next week, but one. Next year, I like organization. You're extra sensitive. Yes, I am. I'm an empath and I really carry people's energy around me. But I'm really working and learning how to protect my inner peace. So I'm trying to be not too sensitive. But yeah, I, I'm sensitive to... You are a super kind and humble person. Thank you. Um kindness super kindness i've learned to hold back yes there are times i was almost a walking mat on people or rather for people but not anymore i i'm i'm a bit tough now I've, life has shown me things and i'm like hey <laughs> i'm pushing back anyway listening to your vlogs calms me down i love you genuine and watch welcoming voice oh my god thank you so much let me tell you something about my voice some people don't like it and 
I got made fun of for the longest time. I grew up being made fun of. I used to sound like a squeaky mouse. Uh, people have actually come forward and told me I never used to like how you speak, but I think the more mature I'm becoming, the more I'm able to control it. But I think it's also a blessing that someone can listen to me and say, I feel so calm when I listen to you, so thank you. All right, um, you're a genuine and a good-hearted woman plus a great mom. I love you, thank you so much. Love you to my followers and you're amazing. You're a very kind and amazing person. God bless you more, okay. Thank you so much. I heard Frankie say you're moody sometimes. I guess you're hardworking, very focused girl. I'm hardworking, I'm very focused and moody just like everybody else. Yes, I'm moody like everybody else. You are Miss Independent and don't rely on a man on anything. You would rather stay single. That's straight up, yes. Uh, I need to be spoiled a little, but I don't know how to do that. It's actually a great weakness. Uh, I love you so much, Maureen. You motivate me. Thank you so much. Ha <laughs> ha, be kind. Mine is more of a prayer that you and your ex get back together. Love wins. <sighs> Moving on. That you have a beautiful soul, your face definitely shows. Oh, <laughs> if this shows beautiful soul, I'm unthankful to God. Hiya, that you don't quarrel or argue during conflict in relationships, that you don't eat kazituni magi. I'm one argumentative person. I will scream through things. I am argumentative, but only to people who matter. But I've learned the art of walking away more and not being in a confrontation. It's part of my journey moving forward. Uh, that you don't eat, I eat definitely, and I drink water, but not enough water. You're very emotional. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends. When it comes to people who, like my kids, they know that. Yes, I'm very emotional. I cry a lot. Yeah, yeah I'm a cry baby. I <laughs> have happy tears, sad tears, thankful tears, every kind of tears. All right, I'm a powerful influencer. Thank you. My aim is to use my platform to move as much content that is beautiful to people as possible. So thank you, I appreciate that. You have a good heart. Depends. Um, I wouldn't say I have the best heart, but again, I'm telling you guys, I have changed over time. Uh, uh, I used to be such a person who lies on the floor and lets people walk all over her and I'm learning to be more you know you know I'm not asserting myself all the time I'm no nobody's hero all the time so yeah I guess that's a good way to look at it that you're ready to start dating again nope not a chance in the world not anytime soon maybe never I don't know that uh, you know you are beautiful and deserve more oh and the same person says you fear judgment and neglect. Oh, it's true. I fear neglect. It's one of my childhood fears. I have said this before in my previous videos on Instagram. I've grew up as a product of rejection and neglect. Uh, and I really, 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 really fear judgment. Not so much. Um, uh, I'm beautiful and I deserve it. I'm really working on my inner, innermost self-esteem, especially when it comes to matters that are all about seeing my beauty as a woman, as a mom, and where I'm going and what I deserve. So that's something I'm working on. Uh, you're an alpha female. I, I, saw, I don't even know if... Yes, I'm a very strong woman, independent and a go-getter, and I'm always looking for solutions in things, but... Alpha female? No, I have seen alpha females and I don't think I'm them. I'm not a Caroline Motuko. I'm not a, a Condoleezza Rice. I'm not a, a more of a Michelle Obama. And I don't think a Michelle Obama is a alpha female. I think she's something else, but it's not an alpha female. You get. Um, you still love your ex. I care about him if he was involved in something I would definitely go and see him and I mean involve some in something that he might need attention I still care about him as the father of my children uh, about love I don't know I'm not sure I mean I don't know you wish to have at least a daughter you passionate about girls I'm very passionate about girls but I'll tell you this categorically I am very very proud to be a mom to my two sons extremely proud extremely so i'm not under any pressure to have a baby girl i can love all the other 
billions of women in this world without necessarily having my own childbirth getting a child is not just a snap of the finger it's a process and with the right support system but they don't mind there's a building just behind me that they are always drilling on something so that's why you fought alcohol addiction at some point in your life while married it was an addiction but at some point i was drinking too much and i've spoken about this openly and i completely stopped i've been uh, i went for help about that uh, professionally and yeah i can say it was an addiction but yes i admitted i was drinking too much at some point you're so focused yes i am to me it's more of a compliment you're a real person and so god i'm strong oh god bless you thank you so much love thank you you don't engage uh, by or not reply to your fans. I actually, uh, someone else actually, in a way attacked me because they, they didn't like put it the way this lady has put it. And I'll tell you something, I receive so many messages every day. And people forget that I don't live on social media. I'm a mom of two boys and I'm a hands-on mom. I have work, I have to be a sane member of the society. I'm supposed to sleep for eight hours a day. I'm supposed to drink water, I'm supposed to go work out, I'm supposed to pick my sons from school i'm supposed to do everything and then respond to all dms i can't keep up with the damn dms i have thousands I, I can tell you i know i have thousands of dms that i've never responded to reason why is because some of the dms are dms i don't have an answer to i don't want to reply to dms for the sake of it maybe sometimes i want to protect my energy from people who if so for instance you're coming to tell me something and i really don't have a solution you also forget i'm human i have also instances whereby i sit down and i'm like am i protecting my energy am i gonna be okay because reading most of your messages can also drain me and if i don't have anything to give you i'd rather not and by the time i'm coming back i'm totally drained so i'm not snobbish i reply to my fans when i can sometimes I, i'm even looking for someone to be helping me with my dms because it's yeah, it's a bit hectic over there, so um, I'm sorry. I, it's not like I don't engage, but if you just come in to say hi and you're not saying anything, I say, oh, I'm going to reply to you. In fact, I'll delete it. I won't even lie to you. But you've come in to me, hey, Maureen, da 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 Explain everything you need. I'll definitely take time to respond to you. Your high maintenance. I think I know my worth. And it's high and jokes aside I am I don't think I'm high maintenance I'm a very cool chick who I take whatever I'm very considerate I'm not a gold digger um, I, I prefer more insightfulness in anything I can do with someone and um, oh it's a uh, high, high maintenance I've never thought about it I've never thought about it not like that <laughs> interesting okay let's see uh, I'm gonna have to skip some because they are very intrusive because I'm not ready to talk about some things uh, especially when it comes to my ex so I'm gonna skip that anyway um, I'm a rich mama hey <laughs> yes I'm rich I'm rich with love kindness and my babies and everything good richness doesn't have to be money uh, that your bum sweet really wise for your age. Thank you love Not an assumption, but I love this new positive view bless you I'm so happy you can feel my energy shifting and I hope that a lot of you people who are coming from situations that uh, Were not favoring you or making you be the best version of yourself uh, You I, I hope you get out uh, on, on the other side. I, I wish every man and woman to Experience themselves in the best version of themselves and people who appreciate them. Okay. I think I just blabbered, but you get me, yeah? Uh, you're very kind-hearted, and the once, and once you set your mind on something you do, yes, comes with my stubbornness. Once I put my mind to something, it has to be done. You're a strict mom. <laughs> yes, I'm that African mom. Uh, you're one beauty queen. Oh, my God, thank you so much. Uh, someone is asking, not an assumption, rather say, not an assumption, but so sure your sons are your life you're gorgeous thank you yes my babies are my life i put them before me in so many ways and i need to work on putting me before them because they came into my life and i you know i didn't come into theirs but yes my kids are my everything i love them that you are 
I hope that's romantic. <laughs> yeah, I am, but I'm very skeptical. I only become a hopeless romantic when I pick my human, but yeah, I guess that's in the past, but yeah, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love romance, I love beautiful things. True to what you believe and living life the huge spoon. Yes, definitely. I believe, I'm very true in what I believe. You won't get anything else. Stop asking questions because this is not a question uh, responses anyway your kind please offer the jobless jobs no that's the thing <laughs> guys you see i started this thing on my social media whereby i would post for people who needed jobs and, and vice versa so people make assumptions that i have some jobs sitting somewhere and waiting for people to come and hire them guys it doesn't work like that unfortunately um um, I don't have any jobs to offer. So many people come to me every single day. Give me a job. And first of all, let me just put this across. You cannot just come and tell me, give me a job. And I don't know, what are you? Who are you? What am I job am I giving you? What jobs did you see me giving? You know, even coming with your CV and saying, Maureen, I've, I've qualified to do this. Should you hear of something? Let me know. It's almost like a demand, you know? I don't have jobs. Guys, I'm just a girl creating content and being a mom and everything else. Guys, please bear with me, okay? Uh, you speak fluent Kikuyu. I used to, I used to for the longest time, but the only person I used to speak Kikuyu with was my grandmother. Unfortunately, she passed away six years ago. My mom, we speak occasionally, but it's one of those phone calls. She comes, so I, I don't regularly get to speak Kikuyu because I don't have a lot of people I speak to. But anytime I meet my Kuyo friends, we speak Kikuyu. I try to, they always get shocked, like, what's happening? I'm like, yeah, I want to speak Kikuyu. You're very hardworking and kind. Thank you. You're strong woman, mother, and also religious. Yes, definitely, I'm religious. Strong. I don't even know. I'm not a superwoman, but I really, really try. I'm a fighter and a survivor. And yes, for my kids, I'll do anything. Uh, this is not how you had planned on raising your babies. You know, whole co-parenting thing. Allow me to answer this in part two. So keep watching. Hehehehe <laughs>